It's your girl back for another video. So I wanted to do a quick video right now about Donald Trump is defunding Planned Parenthood and repealing Obamacare. This is blowing up all over the left-wing media, YouTube, and different social media. The liberals are just going absolutely nuts. The feminists are going crazy. I just wanted to give my opinion and thoughts on it real quick. I think it's wonderful that we have a president that has just taken office that is actually doing what he promised to do in his campaign. He is signing executive orders left and right, and he's actually following through with what he promised us, unlike every other president we had before. Now, about Planned Parenthood, I think Planned Parenthood is one of the most evil organizations that has, has ever existed. I can't believe anyone would go out and fight and want to pay for other women to kill their babies. I think it's the reason Planned Parenthood was created. If you go back in history, it was by Margaret Sanger. Um, she was a Democrat. Uh, and it was created to kill off um, the black population. And that is just being honest. She wanted to get rid of minority babies. She said they were like the weeds of society. She, she actually quoted, they don't want any more Negro babies. Let's come up with a way to get rid of them. That's why they place Planned Parenthoods in low-income areas. I have two close to me. And um, currently today, 2,000 black babies a day are being murdered in Planned Parenthoods, about 500,000 per year. And it's just basically off of people being irresponsible with their uh, sex lives, just, just straight up. Because a lot of you liberals will keep arguing, well, when if a woman gets raped? Well, the percentage is so low on rapes that I still don't think Planned Parenthood should exist. The number of reported rapes that are actually proven is less than 1%. So I don't, I don't uh, think we should have Planned Parenthood just based on that alone. And as far as you, your argument, well, we're going to have all these unwanted babies running around. Well, guess what? I was an unwanted baby. My parents were young drug addicts when they had me. But my grandmother raised me as her own. She is my mother. She did a wonderful job. And I was loved and protected. So there can be a good outcome. And there's so many couples out there that can't have their own children that want children. And there's so many uh, people out there that want babies. And they're going out and adopting them from these other countries that I don't agree with that. I think we need to help American babies here first. So I am so excited. I don't want my tax money going towards killing innocent babies. I hate Planned Parenthood. I think um, all you Democrats out there that are running around, well, Black Lives Matter and, 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 and all this stuff. Well, what about all these innocent babies being murdered? They're being murdered um, at alarming rates. And it's because these damn Democrats came up with a very clever way to get rid of minority babies. They don't want any babies at all, unless it's their own babies, because um, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, and all these other uh, liberals would never go have an abortion. But they want to tell you to go have an abortion. And they do it in the name of women's rights and women equality and women taking charge of their own bodies. It's a bunch of horse shit. In reality, they don't care about women having rights because the Democrats voted against women having rights. The Democrats wanted slavery. They didn't want black men to have equal rights. They're the party of slavery and the KKK, not the Republicans. So I am so excited that Donald Trump is following through on this. Obamacare was a disaster. The rates and premiums are higher. It's not helping anyone. Whenever the left government has taken over anything, it becomes disastrous. And um, I, I don't like the idea of my tax dollars going towards abortion. That is not fair. And then they have a lot of people for religious reasons. They believe in thy shall not kill. We have a lot of Christians. It's not fair that they have to put their tax money towards murdering other babies, innocent babies. One thing that really gets me about you Democrats they never talk about the irresponsibility of women and their sexuality. We always want to talk about, let's give them an easy way to get rid of these babies, but we never address the irresponsibility of all these babies being born um, by irresponsible men and women. We never address that. Women are running around and being irresponsible with their bodies, straight up. That is the truth. Most of these babies are being born because people are just hooking up and being irresponsible. That is not my fault, and that is my tax money should not have to go on that. People, we need to address people being irresponsible 
with their sexuality, then we might not have as big of a problem and we wouldn't have to have baby murder in factories on every corner in the inner cities. We need to address that. It's, it's you know, back in the day when I was growing up, we didn't have all these um, pregnant, unwed mothers running around. The single mother syndrome of America today really didn't exist back then. It was, you were looked at as a whore if you were running around pregnant out of wedlock. We had, you know, everybody was mainly married back then and marriages lasted. Today, it's rare to see a, a married, a young married couple. It's more common to see single mothers running around with multiple children from multiple men. And the Democrats have told these single mothers, we will be the daddy of your children. Just put them on child support. We will hand out welfare to you as long as you don't get married. These Democrats have screwed young men and women up beyond repair. So I'm very excited that um, Trump has done that, is doing this, excuse me. And uh, I look forward to seeing everything else that he's going to do. I'm going to have to go because I have my two-year-old right here. And I couldn't imagine my life without him. I can't believe anyone would want to go have an abortion like that. But again, that's another video. I'll see you all back on my next video. Bye.